What up though, I'm Chanel and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my year one lock regrets and mistakes. So I wrote a few notes down. I just talked about um, in a previous video how I just passed my first year anniversary and I'm so excited about that, but I also had some regrets like some things I did not know, I did not do right. Things that I wish that were stressed to me before I started my lock journey. Number one is that I wish I would have started my locks earlier. If I had started my locks earlier, I wouldn't have the heat damage that I had up in the front and I wouldn't have to battle through getting those locks to lock. I also wouldn't have had short hair when I started my locks because my hair was like bra strap length. I was very undecided at the time about what I wanted to do with my hair, so I ended up cutting it. I ended up with straightening it and messing up the curl pattern and everything before I decided to finally lock. And I had started a lock journey even before that, like when my hair was longer. And that is another one of my regrets. I wish I would have kept my first set of locks. And if I can find pictures or anything to insert, I will insert them here so you can see um, what my first set kind of looked like and how far I would be about two years along right now if I had kept my first set. So it was like I knew that I wanted to start locks, but I just wasn't 100% there already. I didn't know what size I wanted. I didn't know like what parting style and things like that. So I finally figured it out, kind of, because this is another one of my regrets. And that is not starting my locks with two strand twists. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like people who start their locks, man, and I could be 100% wrong, I don't even know, because my first set, I didn't even let go past two months. So I can't even say like what my journey would have been like, but um, I feel like when you two strand twist your hair, the hairs are more put together and in place in that twist. And so you don't have to deal with as much like marrying or marrying is easier to deal with. Whereas I feel like when, when I started with um, comb coils, my hair was just like one big, mop like it was marrying all over the place and it was harder to keep my sections and parts in, intact so i wish that i would have started with two strand twists um another one of my regrets is not or mistakes i guess is not washing my hair thoroughly from the beginning like i know you see a lot of videos or hear a, a lot of times with people with longer locks will tell you that or stress the the fact that you need to like really thoroughly wash your locks and you have to stay in the shower longer or if it's over the sink, whatever. You have to rinse that product out longer and you have to do a little bit more work too because they're locks, like things are getting stuck in there. Um, dandruff is getting stuck in there, debris from like, the elements is getting stuck in there, your environment. And that stuff is hard to get out. So if you don't monitor it, pay attention, and like really focus on it from the beginning, it starts to build up. So that was kind of like my mistake. Like I thought there was only one kind of build up. Like there was only product build up. And if I, I thought that if I didn't use any products, shampoo, water, oil, that I wouldn't get any buildup. But that's not how it works, ma'am, sweetie. No, you have to thoroughly wash your hair because you have dandruff building up in here. You have, like I said, all these things get built up. Lint, all these things. So you have to pay attention even from the beginning. So um, what else do I have? Oh, at one point I wanted to semi-freeform, but I didn't realize that that wasn't for me. That wasn't for me at the point in my journey that I was in. Like, I feel like unless you are, like,
like that's what you want for your locks like you want type of uh, a kind of like a free form journey then you can start off like that but if you just trying to I was trying to see semi free form for the sake of my locks being staying thick like I didn't want to thin them out from retwisting too much but I didn't realize that not retwisting has its own set of issues especially if you're growing thicker locks because they do a lot of marrying and if you don't get in there and make sure that they're proper, properly separated you can damage them you can have a lot of breakage i tried to semi free form like around from like maybe about five six month seven eight i think it wasn't until month nine that i realized like no ma'am you need to retwist a little more often or if you're not retwisting you just need to make sure that they are properly separated not just going through and popping your locks like no ma'am you you have to get locks first and able to be able to pop your locks so you have to establish a foundation before you can get into all these other things that come with having longer locks and i think Yes, I do want to see semi free form, but now I feel like I mean maybe now might be a better time, but still my my locks are not fully mature. So until they fully mature, I think I'm gonna stay away from like semi free forming and try to retwist like maybe not very often, but at least every I wanna say between three and five weeks like I need to retwist for real because be, the way these things are set up I don't want the issues I don't want issues but so far I, I really like my locks um I think I'm over the point of wanting to comb them out hopefully but because I feel like also one of my regrets is that I didn't part my hair when I started. Not only did I not start with two strand twists, I didn't even part my hair. Like, I just grabbed sections. And because of that, like, I have a lot of different lock sizes. And that I don't too much mind. I'm just worried about thinning. Like, I don't want the, the sections that I made smaller to become thin over time because they're not they don't have a strong enough base so hopefully i don't deal with that and then i have some weird ones like this one up here this one is like the size of these two i think because originally i had this as one but it was a two strand twist and i end up splitting it but I didn't split this one. So, I don't know. And I kind of did that because I wanted my edges to be a little more free. I have all different kind of sizes in my parting. Okay? So, I don't know. That might be one regret. But I, at this point, it's like I've been locking for a year. I don't want to start over. So here we are. These are the locks that I have. I'm going to continue to grow them. And hopefully they flourish. Um, let's see if that's all the regrets. Yeah, I think I talked about it all. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn around and give you guys a look at my locks and if you have any questions make sure that you put them in the comment section and here we go i'm just making sure i took all the twists down because i don't know if i did So yeah, 
um that's pretty much it for this video if you want to check out any of my other videos make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever i post a video i'm gonna get out of here i'll see you in the next one bye